Hi. In this video, we will see how we can take Oracle Data Pump backup in different locations. And uh, this method is very useful in so many situations. In my current situation, let's say we have one mount point for backup, but it does not have sufficient space for complete backup. But it can hold at least 40 to 50 percent of backup. Along with this, we have another mount point which have sufficient space to store the rest 50% of the backup. So we will split our backup in both mount point using data pump. So what are the pre-requirements? Number one, parallel parameter is mandatory because we are using multiple paths and multiple dumps. Second one, since it is using parallel, so you know, Standard edition does not support parallel parameter. So it is not supported in standard edition. You must have into five edition. So my current setup, I have Oracle 12C. My DB size is 2 GB because it is example database. And uh, my uh, full database backup size is almost uh, 600 MB. And I have two mount points, which I have created for demonstration purpose. Each of size 388 MB. And uh, if I take complete backup on single mount point, it will definitely fail. So I need to split the backup in both mount point using data pump and it is possible in data pump. And another option is actually option uh, optional. File size parameter. It is very useful. Suppose uh, let's say one uh, if you use both the mount points it is not uh, mandatory that oracle will create 200 mb file here and 400 uh, and 400 400 mb file here oracle decides internally so what will happen if your uh, one mount point have only 366 mb and oracle tried to make a dump of size 400 mb here so again it will fail if you use multiple locations so in that case, you need to divide your overall DB size divide by your multiple locations. So in my current scenario, my DB uh, backup size will be 600 MB and I have two locations. So if I, if I divide it by two, so I will get 300 MB size. That means I need to use file size parameter of 300 MB. So it will generate two files having size equal to or less than 300 MB in both locations. So this is my mount points. I will log in in my server. Okay, this is my server. This is the database name. Check the directories. Okay, these are the directories which I will use. So you need to create two directories for two mount points and this syntax is quite simple here you need to mention in dumb file directory colon then dumb file one second directory and then colon dumb file two and as a as a multiple locations if you want to mention you can mention it here so same you can mention log file since log file is only one so only one Directory location is enough and parallel parameter is mandatory 2 is the minimum value and it is the file size parameter which I have uh, described in earlier step so this is my complete export backup command xpdp username password full equal to y dumb file this is my first location this is my second location this is the dumb file name 1 dumb file name 2 log file parallel to and file size equal to 300 MB. That means it will create backup chunks of size 300 MB. Let's run it.
so as you can see my backup has been completed and if I check the size of these two files So you can see one is of size 300 MB and other size and other file size is 215 MB. So file size parameter actually limits the size of the dump. So I think you can use this method uh, to uh, take backup on multiple file locations and it is very useful. And since it is using parallel parameters, so it definitely improves the backup timings. So hope this helps you. Thank you very much.